The most famous astronomers in the world just happen to be from this great state of Missouri. Can you guess who I am? If you guessed Edwin Hubble, you were correct. Let's gaze into the stars to find some interesting facts about me. First, learn about my family and childhood. Next, learn about my great accomplishments and why I'm a famous Missourian. Lastly, learn some cool and interesting facts about me and some of my famous quotes. Are you ready to gaze through my life? I, Edwin Bell Hubble, was born on November 20th, 1889 in Marshfield, Missouri. I was the third of seven children. Henry, Lucy, William, Emma Jane, and Elizabeth. I would even liked astronomy as a child. Once, a friend and I convinced our parents to let us see a total lunar eclipse. Um, I got good grades in elementary school, except for spelling. I entered a middle school nicknamed the Old Red Castle. I was very good at sports. I participated in basketball, football, pole vault, shot put, standing high jump, running high jump, discus throw, hammer throw, and boxing. I studied law and astronomy at Oxford University. After college, I taught mathematics and coached basketball at New Albany High School for six months. After teaching and coaching, I served in World War I in 1917. After coming back from war, I got a job in 1919 at Mount Wilson Observatory, the largest and most technologically advanced telescope in the world had just been built there. I set my sights on fuzzy clouds of cosmic light. I married Grace Burke in 1924. I am famous for answering some of the greatest mysteries in space. I discovered the relationship between the galaxy's distance from Earth and its velocity through space. The farther away a galaxy is from Earth, the faster it's receding from Earth. This is known as Hubble's Law. I also discovered that the Andromeda Nebula was actually another galaxy. I really wanted a Nobel Prize, but since there was no category for astronomy at the time, I never got one. A reporter once asked me what I was hoping to find with the immense telescope I'd helped develop for Mount Palomar. I replied, um, we hope to find something we hadn't expected. I have changed many people's lives. I have done this by answering some of the greatest mysteries in space. I have changed our ideas about the universe and how it developed. Many astronomers use what I found out to figure out many other things. Most astronomers use the Hubble Telescope, which is named after me. I was awarded the Legion of Merit, the Franklin Medal, the Bruce Medal, and the Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society. Here are some interesting facts about me. I opened a law office for six months in Kentucky before becoming an astronomer. I served in both World War I and World War II. I earned a Rhodes Scholarship. The Hubble Telescope, which is named after me, was launched on April 24, 1990. I have many famous quotes. Here are some of them. Observations always involve theory. The universe is unfolding as it should. We find them smaller and fainter and constantly increasing numbers, and we know that we are reaching into space farther and farther until with the faintest nebulae that can be detected by the greatest telescope we arrive at the frontier of the known universe. Equipped with his five senses, man explores the universe around him and calls the adventure science. On September 28, 1953, I died in San Marino, California of cerebral thrombosis. Now you know that I did not just gaze into the stars, I changed the world.